church here today? Yes, sir. Acts chapter number 20. Please rise for the reading of God's word. Amen. 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 Acts chapter number 20. Man, I really want to read a bunch of verses. <laughs> this thing's so good to me, I'm almost a shepherd. Let's start at verse number 21 and go to verse number 30. You know, I never really read these many verses, but I need you to really grab this concept today. Uh, I'm going to minister to you out of uh, verse number 24, though. Testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God. And faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. And now behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, save that the Holy Spirit witness in every city, saying that the bonds and afflictions abide in me. But none of these things move me. God, I could stop right there. But none of these things move me. Neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I may finish my course with joy and the ministry. Not popularity, not stuff, but the ministry. Come on now. My God. See, when you really get married to God, ministry becomes more important than material. Yes. Well, yes, yes. Speak well. My God. The ministry. Yes. Which I have received. Yes. You're not going to be passionate about ministry if you haven't received it of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, See, some of us looking for an alternative place in employment. Oh, some of us looking for an easy way in life, but we haven't received. Oh, God. The ministry from the Lord Jesus Christ because the ministry is a burden Woo. as well as a blessing. The ministry is pain as well as pleasure. Come on. The ministry is being loved on one hand and being hated on another hand. Oh God. The ministry is a mission. Oh God. And as we go down that mission, we grow. Yes. And we go from adolescence oh God. to maturity. Yes. Look at somebody and say, what I do, I do it for the ministry. God, I feel like preaching now. I could have just stopped right there and lost my mind. Watch this. I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the, of the grace of God. And now behold, I know that ye all among whom I've gone preaching the kingdom of God shall see my face no more. Wherefore I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. To heed therefore to yourselves and to the flock and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God yes. which he hath purchased in his own blood for I know this that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you not sparing the flock also of your own selves somebody say on the inside shall men rise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after themselves therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I've not ceased to warn you every night and day with tears look at your neighbor and say neighbor don't let anything move you now that's what I want to preach. Don't let anything move you now. Find somebody, slap on my high five, tell them I won't be moved now. I, I won't, not now. Now, not at this present time. I won't, I won't be moved. I won't let anything move me. After all the stuff that I've been through, after all of the encounters, after all of the pain, after all of the hurt, after all of the suffering, after all of the labor, I will, after all of the trial, the tribulation, after all of the affliction, all of the attacks, I will not. Somebody say not now, not, not now, not, 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 
my now. See, the devil made one fatal mistake. The most fatal mistake he made is he didn't finish you when he had you on your back. He didn't finish you when he had you in the stock of demonic activity. But now you stepped out on the glorious gospel, walking in the power and the authority of God. I can go lose it here. I need you to understand something. You who are Bible scholars. Here Paul is ministering to the church at Macedonia. He is telling them. He says I need you to understand and I'm testifying to you about the hell that I've been through these years while trying to serve God. I come to talk to the leaders. I come to talk to the preachers that you're going to have to go through something. I come to talk to the people of God. You're going to have to suffer some things. You're going to have to go through trials and tribulation and trouble and problems and persecution. You're going to be talked about. You're going to be lied on. People are going to try to kill you, destroy your character and your integrity. But Paul said no matter what they do, don't let none of them things move. Don't let none. See, God looking for some people who are steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the world. You got to be able to take something. You got to be able to stretch still. Quit being a pushover. Don't let everything that comes into your life push you around. Tell the devil, I'm able to take it now. I'm not the same in the truth. Being a Christian, I was when I first came. God has made a divine deposit in my life to stay. Listen to what he says here. This is so phenomenal. He says to us that. I'm warning you with tears in my eyes. He says, I can't stay with you. I don't have to go. But the Holy Spirit has testified and shown me some things. Otherwise, I have foresight. He said, when I get ready to completely pull up, there's something that's going to take place. The outside is going to try to destroy what's inside. And some of the inside is going to start trying to destroy what's inside. I'll be there in a few minutes. He talked about ravenous wolves will come in. If you got to come in, that means first you are outside. You got to watch everything that come in. Because some stuff that come in got a motive to destroy what's with you. No. 
something and go out in the ministry. You got to be able to overcome something. You got to make it through them hard places. You got to make it through them struggles. You got to make it through them little differences. You got to get through that. Look at somebody slap on my high five and say, that's what we done. That's why we still here. We, we see some stuff, but we made it. We came through and we better than ever. We better than all of it. Everybody else other than them. And 